third time since 2011, a fatal crash has involved a sheriff's deputy. It happened Tuesday on Norris Road near Airport Drive. The CHP says 59-year-old Larry Meharry was riding his motorcycle east on Norris, approaching Airport Drive, when Deputy Marvin Gomez was coming west, turning south at the stoplight. Investigators say Gomez had his lights and siren on, and one car stopped as Gomez was going through the red arrow at the intersection. That's when Meharry, whose light was green, hit the passenger side of the patrol units. And we have team coverage of the crash and investigation today. We are going to turn now to 23 ABC's Laura Acevedo. She is live at the crash scene with the latest on the CHP's investigation. Laura? That's right, Jackie. The CHP is investigating the accident that happened here at the intersection of Airport Drive and Norris road. This, they say the sheriff's department has not told them the nature of the call of Officer Gomez was responding to, but did confirm he was traveling code 3. 23 ABC asked sheriff's department spokesman about the department's protocol for driving through intersections where the light is red. They refused to comment, referring all questions to CHP. Other local law enforcement agencies did discuss that policy today. 59-year-old Larry Meharry died at the scene after crashing into Deputy Marvin Gomez's patrol car. Deputy Gomez traveling on Norris Road attempting to make a left turn on Airport Drive when the tragic accident happened. CHP crews were out until 4 this morning wrapping up the on-scene investigation, saying it is still too early to determine who, if anyone, was at fault. Right now with this case, it's way too early to tell. Uh, we do have, like I said, our, our Central Division May team um, is on the investigation. But what is the protocol for responding to these types of calls? CHP officials say when an officer is code three with lights and sirens on, they are relieved from the rules of the road. That does not relieve us uh, from um, act from from our duty uh, to drive at a speed uh, that's safe when entering that that intersection. Which meaning we have to make sure that that intersection is clear. Each law enforcement agency in town has its own policy, but they still have to follow the California Vehicle Code, making sure the intersection is safe to cross. It can be kind of scary, depending on time of day, depending on traffic conditions, depending on just a variety of things that are going on on the roadway. Um, it, it's, it can be nerve-wracking. Drivers are reminded to be aware of emergency vehicles and always give them the right of way, something echoed by Bakersfield PD. Turn your radios down, pay attention to what's going on around you. When you hear a siren, look for it. Now, CHP's investigation is still in the preliminary phases, and that question that remains is what was the nature of the call Officer Gomez was responding to? Back to you.